Hey Cancers, welcome to the Happy Cancer Tarot channel. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on your reading. Please keep in mind, guys, that this is general, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. Some pieces will be your story, and some pieces will be someone else's story that's watching. All right, so let's go ahead and get started and see what is going on around Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. I feel like um, something, I feel like things are about to heat up for you guys. And what I mean by that is um, I'm seeing new opportunities in your career. And I'm also seeing uh, an opportunity to mend a relationship with someone. But I'm also seeing a new relationship, friendship wise though, not romance. I feel like um, you're going to meet someone new that's a friend. And you're going to have a deep bond, a deep connection with this person. And I'm also seeing finding out. That's what I'm saying. A lot of things like it's going to be heating up. You're going to you're going to be getting a lot of new things, new information, new downloads, new opportunities. You're going to be finding out um, about a couple, a couple that's breaking up or a couple that's broke up. You're going to and I feel like this is something that you predicted. So that may not resonate with everyone. But if you predicted a breakup or if there's something significant about a couple in your life, whether it's through your family, maybe finding out like your favorite aunt or um, your sister or brother, like you're going to find out about a couple that's going through a breakup or a divorce. That's why I said things are about to heat up in your life. We got here the main mature man coming um, out. We got here the mature woman. Hmm. What's going on here with you? Didn't I say couple? Didn't I say that? Yes. Remember I told you. Yeah, I feel like you're, yeah, this could be um, a mature couple. And I feel like you're going to find out something about this couple. Because I feel like they're not together. And you know what else I'm getting here with this couple, guys? I feel like this couple is like a couple you wouldn't even expect to have broken up because I feel like image is really important to them. And even like education is important to them. Having a beautiful house is important to them. But it's all a facade. And it's all things. I feel like they didn't nurture their relationship. I feel like they were more caught up in appearances, more caught up in the look, the um, like, you know, having titles, having degrees, being a part of certain prestigious group. There's something going on here with this couple that I feel like you're going to be finding out about. And this is a couple that may have even been together for a long time. I'm getting here definitely over 10 years. They've been together for a very long time. And you're going to find out that they're not together. This is a couple that you really wouldn't even expect to break up. They're mature in age. So it's not like a young couple either. We see great fortune. I told you guys. See a secret family room. They're keeping. But the thing about it is they haven't exposed this yet. They have not told the family that they're not together. Because I feel like they have a great fortune. There's money that's going on here. But they're, I feel like they even live in separate homes. Or they definitely sleep in separate beds. And they're keeping it a secret from the family. And this is a wealthy couple. Just so you guys know, this is a wealthy couple. Privileged lady is in reverse. So I feel like um, the reason why this privileged lady is in reverse. Look at here, false person. High honor. Look, oh my gosh, judication. I told you guys. Judication. I told you going through a breakup, a divorce. Look, high honor, because this this is a, a a power couple, a prestigious couple, and I feel like they have money, but it's false. They are presenting a very false um, togetherness. Now, why is this significant to you? Why is this significant to you? Why is this any of your business, right? 
You predicted it, I heard. I heard that <laughs> they said because you predicted it. Yeah, you predicted you predicted this uh breakup. Oh, mature man coming through again. That's not a coincidence. Here comes a message. Oh, we got health. There's something going on here. I don't know if this is the same person or if this is another person. Unexpected income too. Um, so we got here. I don't again guys, I don't know if this is this person up here that I was telling you about or if this is someone else. For some of you, it could be the same person. And for others, this could be someone else. So take it how it resonates. But I'm going to um, look into this energy. Yep, see here's a death. Someone's not feeling good. You may get some sort of message around someone's health. It could be the same person. Look at this. You may be finding out someone's not feeling good. And this is someone, again, that's mature, up in age, a message coming in. Tell me more about this situation. Yep, that queen of swords is that mature woman. This could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. The, I, feel like, I feel like it's the same person. But I also feel like for some of you, it is, it's going to, you're going to have to take a hair resume because I feel like, I feel like it's both. I feel like for some of you, it's the same person. For others, this is another person. But you're going to get some sort of message about a mature man's health. And I feel like uh, it may be some sort of serious health condition. Tell me more. The King of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. Yeah, I feel like I feel like th I feel like this person was going through something that was almost going to take them out. That's what I feel like because the King of Wands is very strong. This is not someone that's going to take this health situation lying down. If anything, I feel like they've recovered. The King of Wands recovered from whatever this health situation is and they're going to be contacting you i feel like they were going through some sort of health issue which is why you haven't heard from them i'm gonna go back up to that couple but let me see what this is about tell me more about this a opportunity, yeah. See, here's this ace of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this person um, is recovering. If anything, I feel like they recovered from some sort of health battle, and now here comes this new opportunity of at life again. There's some sort of new opportunity associated with this um, person. Heal, I told you, healing. Yep, the temperance cards, they healing. Yeah, a blessing, recovering. Yeah, this is someone that I feel like was going through something that um, they felt like or it was serious enough to where they were going to lose their life. But I'm seeing here healing. I'm seeing healing with this person. I told you the King of Wands is a fighter, right? So it looks like they overcame some sort of health condition. But then here comes this Ace of Pentacles. What's this new opportunity about for them? And I'm going to look at this message. Family in reverse. It's like they went through some sort of family issue. Yeah, walking away. They're walking away from their family. And as a result of walking away from their family, here comes a new opportunity. Tell me more about this new opportunity. They're working on it right now. They're working on creating some sort of new opportunity. They are the stalemate. They walked away from a family situation and now they're working on this. It's like they started over in life and now they're working on, you know, rebuilding their life. 
It's like they went through a breakup, they went through a separation, they went through some sort of family issue, and they walked away from it. And as a result of walking away, they're starting over again. And they're rebuilding their life. They're waiting for whatever it is, the work that they're doing to rebuild their life, to pay off for them. Now, tell me, first off, tell me about this message. Because I'm giving here, I feel like you're going to hear from this person. Because I'm seeing here a letter. They may even send you a letter. For some of you, they may call you. Maybe a text message. See, they're going to reveal something to you. This is definitely communication coming in. Uh-oh. This is some communication coming in. They're going to contact you and let you know about what they've been going through health-wise. And what they've been going through with their family. And I feel like this sickness, this health issue that they went through, opened their eyes to something. Tell me about this couple up here. Why is this showing up in Cancer's reading? See, deception, seven of swords. There's, there, this, this is a couple that's being deceptive. Secrets, the moon. Yeah, they're keeping this a secret. There's, there's some sort of deception within this relationship. But again, they're, they're keeping it a secret from people. They, they're trying to present this illusion but I feel like they have not come to grips this couple up here I feel like they have not come to grips with um the demise of their relationship it feels weird tell, let me get an or, or oracle card tell me about this couple yeah see it's saying here receipt proof show me like it's like they're staying together even though they're not happy together. They're living a lie. I feel like they have not come to grips with that this relationship is over with or that they don't want to be together. They're staying together out of financial reasons and to have this facade. We got here proposal. This is a relationship where I feel like they are married, but they're not wearing their rings. See, a sad woman. Yeah, this, part, this, this mature woman in this relationship is actually sad. Because I feel like, I feel like there's, there was deception. There was cheating. I feel like there was cheating in this relationship. See, moving. I told you they don't live together. Moving, physical, location change. I told you guys, I don't feel like they live together. But I feel like they have not revealed to people that they're not together anymore. Yeah, see that moon keeps coming in for them. They're still they're still holding oh yeah, too embarrassed. Yeah, they're too embarrassed to say that this relationship is over with. They're not trying to tell people. This could be like I said, a family member for some of you guys. So we got two things going on here. You have a couple that's staying together um, in the eyes of others. They're together, but they have not went through the process of a breakup because there's a lot of money and there's also a lot of pride not wanting people to see them as a failure because people may have thought that they would be together forever, but they're not. They live in separate homes. I feel like they have enough money where they can live in separate homes. And I feel like this is something for you to know because I feel like you predicted this. But let's see what else why you need to know. Why else does Cancer need to know about this? See, relocation. Relocation. There have been some sort of move. But why is why do you need to know about this? Relocation. Why does Cancer need to know about this? Hmm. Are they moving closer to you or something? Gossip. Gossip. You're gonna this I feel like they're gonna be gossip about. It's gonna come out. It's going to come out about this couple not being together. And it looks like there's gonna be some gossip because someone is I feel like how it's gonna come out is that they're moving. That this move that you can't hide this move. They're not gonna be able to hide this move for, for much longer. And I feel like it's going to come out because they're going to find out about uh, a move. I 
I'm still, why is this relocation, what does this have to do with cancer? And you're, Somebody's going to call you or contact you. Someone's going to contact you gossiping about this couple. See here, searching online, looking for info, records. This is someone you may be estranged from, guys. That's why you're going to find out about it, because they're going to want to talk to you. That's why it's significant to you. Because I feel like this person up here, whoever you're connected to, whether it's the mature man or the mature woman, I feel like they're, I feel like the how you're going to find out is because they want to talk to you. It's like they're going through a breakup. I feel like it's the woman though. Because we got sad woman. I feel like you're connected to the woman. But take it how it resonates. Some of you could be the man. But I feel like they're going to want to talk to you. Because they're moving. And I feel like they're going to want to be closer to you. They're going to want to mend the relationship with you. They're looking for you. This is someone that may not have your phone number. Or maybe your number has changed. They don't have your address. But they're trying to get information on you. So that they can um, reconcile with you. They want to fix whatever issues that you had. I'm really feeling like this is someone that has been humbled. By what they're going through. Anything else? We got here an engagement. Why am I feeling like you're going to be engaged when this happens? So this feels like in the um, future, you're going to find this out. But the near future. Because I feel like when you find this out, I feel like you're going to be engaged. And look at here. In the interview, talk, conversation, get on the same page. See? That's what I'm saying. I feel like this is what this energy is making me feel. It's like this person's life is going to be falling apart. They tried so hard to keep up an image, right? And it's going to be falling apart. But I feel like your life, on the other hand, is going to be getting better. I feel like you're going to be engaged when you, when this person and you talk. Let me see. Tell me, but tell me about cancer. See, I told you. Yep, come together, reconciliation, a spiritual union, a soul contract. You're going to be with someone. You're going to be in a spiritual connection with someone. You're going to be engaged to someone. When this, um, whoever this person is that's going to contact you, you're going to be with someone else. And I feel like, remember, um, remember we talked about this King of Wands starting over in life. It looks like this, you may be with this King of Wands. This person down here. That's why we got two mature men. These are, for the majority of you, I feel like there are two different people. And I'm seeing here this King of Wands having that new opportunity. It's that career. They're going to have some sort of new career. A new job. So it could be a, even a promotion that they're working on. And I feel like you're going to be with this person. And this other person up here, whether this is your aunt, your or your uncle, your brother, your sister, your mother, your cousin, uh, a, a ex friend of yours, they're going to be telling you about uh, what they're going through. But I feel like your life is going to be better. Mm. But why? Are, yep. See, obsession, must have, indulgence. See, you guys are not talking. And whoever this person is, they're obsessed with talking to you. They feel like they need to talk to you. They need to clear something up with you. Because they feel like the bad that they're getting has to do with their karma. So it's like, I need to fix this with you. Because they, this why I, said, I don't feel like this person has like bad intentions now. This makes me feel like someone that, um, I don't know, the energy that I get from this person is set in their ways, maybe like a know-it-all, but being humbled because of it. You know, this will be someone that tries to tell people how to live their life. This could be someone, like I said, that, um, you know, they think that success and money is what's important. But I feel like they've been humbled by this deception with this person that they were in a relationship with. And I feel like they feel as though they need to go around and make amends with people. They need to clear their karma. So they're, they're going to be obsessed with getting in touch with you in order to clear some karma in their life. We got here a karmic person, a karmic partner is coming in. 
Hmm, what does this got to do with cancers? New love. A karmic partner and new love. Hmm. So whoever this person is that you're engaged to, they have some, or remember they broke up with someone. So I feel like they broke up with a karmic partner, but whoever this karmic partner is that they broke up with, remember we talked about breakup. It looks like they got someone else, but I feel like they have someone else as a way of trying to make the person that's with you jealous. It's like they're still they're still like focused on this person. So it's like even though you and you and someone has come together, their ex is still obsessed with I feel like some sort of weird energy. I don't know. It's kind of like getting with someone to say, "Okay, you got someone. Well, I got someone too." But it's all being done to play some sort of game. They may even have kids with this person. It could be two, because I saw a son and a daughter. They may have two kids with this karmic. Um, but yeah, see, look at here. A settlement, agreement, compromise. Look at here, poison, toxic, unhealthy behaviors. Yeah, whoever the person is that you're going to be getting with, I feel like they have a family with this karmic. So they're going to still have some sort of connection with them. But I feel like this karmic has gotten into a relationship with someone else. But I feel like even though they're in a relationship with someone else, they still have it out to make your person's life hell. Even though they've come to some sort of agreement, they still I feel like they're not in love with this person. They're only using this person to spite the person that you're with so that they can be like, OK, I'm not alone. I have someone, too. It's a weird energy, okay? Yeah, see, date. Yeah, I feel like they're dating people and the first person that they can land is who they're gonna be like, okay, we're a couple. All right, let's see, Any, okay, enough of that. We don't wanna look into this card. Anything else for cancers? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Anything else cancers? We got the Knight of Pentacles coming in. This could be a person. Yeah, this is a person. I'm seeing here a conversation between you and someone. Whoever this person is, there is hesitation with talking to you. Makes me feel like I am keep going back up to this. Yeah, this could be a Capricorn. Hmm. What's going on here? It's like there has there's some sort of caution with talking to you. They feel cautious about having a conversation with you. Because I'm getting here this energy with this page of swords of being in the know, knowing the information, knowing things. The high I knew it, the high priestess. I told you guys, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. The high priestess. Yep. Didn't I say knowing things? That's why they're cautious because they know that you're the high priestess. They know that you predicted this. That's why. It's not cautious, caution in the sense of afraid of you, but it's caution in the sense of you said this was going on. And it's like now having to hear, I told you so. <laughs> That's what I'm giving here. You predicted this. I feel like it has to do with this connection up here. You predicted something and I feel like someone has to come back to you and say, you said this was going to happen. And see, seeing that you really are the high priestess, seeing that you really do know this um, spiritual information, you are really in tune with spirit. Someone, you're going to be vindicated, guys. You're going to be vindicated. Someone is like going to be cautious about letting you know what was going on because you predicted it and they did not believe you. They could have said, no, you're lying. Or they could have talked about you and said you're crazy and stuff like that. But you're like, nope, I know what my spirit team is telling me with this high priestess. I know what I'm feeling. I know what I know. And so now they have to hear the I told you so. Or at least, even if you don't say I told you so, that's what they're feeling. They can be talking to you. You you may not even say I told you so. You can be like, they're just going to say, yeah, you, you were right. You predicted it. 
But it's like, dang, I don't want to say that you're right. I knew that high priestess. That's what I was feeling with that page of swords. You knew something that you predicted. And now these people or this person has to come back and tell you, see, you were right. You were right. You were right. The three of wands. With this three of wands, I feel like this makes me feel as though keeping a distance be, and, and what I'm this could be physically keeping a distance or it could be metaphorically keeping a distance from speaking your high priestess, speaking your spiritual knowledge, speaking your psychic gifts. So in that sense, what I mean by let's say, you know, things spiritually, you know, things because source or God or whoever you communicate with spiritually, they told you this. I feel like you stopped talking about it keeping you you you've kept distance between your spirituality and these people or this person so it's like you don't say anything spiritual you keep it to yourself we got her yeah you're gonna be oh yeah here look at here then when you find out you're gonna be like see yeah when you find out this is gonna make you feel good to know that you were right and that they have to know that you were right. It's not so much that you doubt it yourself or question your gift. It's the fact that this, you're going to feel good because now they have to admit your gift. Now they have to know that what you were saying were the truth. That's why this is significant because I feel like uh, it may have caused some sort of strife between you and people because you predicted something or you knew it was going to happen. And they thought that you were, you know, crazy or they may have ostracized you because of your gift. And it's like now the things that you predicted are coming to pass. And it's like you're you're going to be feeling vindicated by this. And I feel like this person, this is where they're going to present to you. I feel like that this person wants to talk to you because I feel like they contacted them. Whoever one of these people contacted this person that's coming towards you. That's going to be letting you know what happened with this couple because they want to make up with you. They want to talk to you. Remember, someone wants to clear their conscience with you. It's one of these people and they're going to use a middle man or a middle woman to, to get to reach you because they've been searching for you. They don't have your contact information anymore. So they're going through someone else to reach out to you to see if they can talk to you. And let you know what was going on with them and how they want to make amends with you. Because I told you they've been humbled by some sort of experience. Yeah, see, here comes the sun card. Something is, you're about to get some sort of major um, enlightenment. And this enlightenment is going to make you feel good. It's not like you're going to be feeling good about this couple breaking up. But I feel like you're going to be, like I said, feeling vindicated about your gifts. You know, it's feeling, feeling victorious because of the, see, finding out this news. Because you're not reveling in someone's downfall, but you are reveling in the sense of, you know, people, you know, calling you crazy or making it seem like you didn't know what you were talking about when you did. That sun card like everything that was in the dark. Remember how we saw the moon too? I believe we saw the moon. Everything that was hidden is being brought to the light. They tried to hide this, but they could no longer hide it. People are, they're moving. I'm seeing two moves. Both of them are moving. Both of them, they, they sold the house that they had together and they're moving. They're relocating separately because someone was cheating. And I feel like this person never thought it could happen to them. And it did. And it is. I'm going to see what they want to talk to you about in a second. Yeah, the four swords is coming in. Yeah, someone definitely wants to put to rest uh, whatever issues the two of you have. That's what I'm saying. They want to put it to rest. They want to make up. And I feel like someone has prayed about this. So I don't feel like whoever this mature woman is that's coming towards you. I don't pick up a nasty energy. Like I really feel like they really want to make peace with you. They really want to heal the relationship with you. That's what I feel like. I'm just, I'm not. Yeah, I see the queen of cups. Someone wants to make peace with you. They want to put to rest whatever issue. Yeah, whatever drama. See, peace. I told you guys the six of swords. Peace. They want to move on in peace. That's why we don't see the five of swords. So they're not coming with any gains. We go from the four to healing and resting straight to peace. See, whatever drama, whatever arguments or disagreement you and this person have, 
they want to make peace with you. Uh, the strength part, and it, it seems like it's requiring a lot of strength to do this. So I feel like, remember I said this is someone that could be self-righteous or a know-it-all? This is a big deal because this is someone that I feel like you probably would have never guessed or thought they would be willing to try to make peace with you because they were set in their ways. A very self-righteous person, right? And I feel like you're going to be really surprised to see how humble they are. This required a lot of strength to do this, to reach out to you and to admit whatever it is that happened with them and this person. And like I said, you're, you're going to be, some of you are going to be engaged or you're going to be in union with someone and your life is going to be looking better or getting better. And that's what I'm saying, like bridges being mended. So I feel like a, a lot of, there's going to be a lot of transitioning taking place in your life. In love and in a strange relationships with family or friends, um, you being engaged. But keep in mind, I told you, whoever this person is that you're going to be with, I feel like they have like baby mama or baby daddy or ex um, drama or issues still lingering. Anything else that we can? What is this? Let's tell, tell me more about this person that wants to make amends. We got the Nine of Wands. Yeah, they're determined to do so. They're determined, yep, to see justice. Yep, this person, I told you, they want to clear their karma. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry about that light, guys. Uh, they want to clear their karma. They're determined to um, fix things with you. Yep, karma. Yeah, see, they're coming up. Ace of Cups, love. Yeah, I feel like you and this person were not talking because it was an estranged relationship. It was very toxic. It was very unhealthy. But I'm seeing here, um, again, we're getting Capricorn energy for some of you. Um, but don't have to be. But I feel like, yeah, it was a toxic relationship. But I'm seeing here this new opportunity at love. Because I'm seeing here someone that has become wiser. Someone that has matured. I feel like, uh, and that's what I'm saying, wanting to do right. Anything else cancers need to know about this person? Peace. Yeah. See, they come. Yep. They come in peace. Yeah. They come in peace, guys. So whoever this person, which if this is a mature man or the mature woman uh, that's coming your way, that's going through this breakup, uh, <clears throat> they come in peace. And this is someone that actually they're going to show it too. they're going to show it. They're going to be very kind towards you, very sweet towards you. Very nurturing also. They're going to be very nurturing and loving. There is something about you uh, that I feel like they missed. They see you as someone that's very special and they missed you. They, this person, miss, whoever this person is, they really missed you. So there goes that five of swords. And look at here, the rare card, graduated. A major completion. So that type of energy, that mind games, that manipulation, they've graduated from that five of swords. See, we got four, five, and six. And I talked about that right here on top of all of this. Look at this, the four, six, five, five, six, whatever. But look at here, close. I feel like you protecting yourself. You protecting yourself and not talking to this person caused them to mature, caused them to grow up and become that being in that hermit energy it caused them to mature and really do some deep soul searching and reflecting over their life yep and what's really important see chasing money chasing wealth led to pain for them it was that relationship that they were in see look at here see i feel and that's what i'm saying great fortune i feel like this is someone that you know put some money and I'm not saying it's right or wrong I'm just telling you how it happened for this person it's like they made money and appearances a priority over love and it looks like it betrayed them in the end yeah emotionally immature the page of cups is in reverse this was someone that was emotionally immature was unable to have a healthy loving relationship they were stuck in some sort of emotional immaturity what's coming towards cancers Let's see what's coming towards you guys. Victory. Oh, I told you. Didn't I say your life is going to be getting better? Your life is going to be getting better. You have someone from your past. But I feel like this is two people from your past. 
So that's what I'm saying. I feel like um, this per one of these people and then another person down here. You got two people coming um, from your past. And it looks like victory. Yep. See, change perspectives. You blocking these people led to a change. And so it's like they're coming. Both of these people are coming to make up with you. That king of wands. And whoever this person is, whether it's the mature woman or the mature man up here. Yeah, see, here comes a tower moment. This is going to shock you. Remember I said that middleman calling you, letting you know some estranged person in your family or childhood friend wants to make up with you. This is going to shock you because I feel like you're going to be resistant with the Knight of Swords in reverse. I feel like you're going to be resistant to, because these are people that you block. And, the, and you're going to be resistant because this is what you were dealing with. Toxic people, manipulation, game playing. And you're like, I'm not here for that. But something is going to happen. Yeah, we got here judgment coming in. Something is going to happen. Yeah, you don't trust them. It's like, why? But I'm seeing here something is going to happen with this judgment. You see that horn? Something is going to happen that I feel like is going to um open you up. Tell me more. What's coming towards cancer? That horn. I feel like you're gonna you're gonna hear something that's gonna make yep, see, look at here, closed off. And it's gonna change your perspective. See, I feel like what you hear, what information you find out, it's gonna change your perspective to hear what they have to say. See, because you're like, no, I'm ready to block them. And I feel like if you're the high priestess, for some of you, these people are very religious, very, um, I don't feel like they believe and you don't have the same belief system because you're the high priestess. You don't believe in certain rules, certain traditions like they do. And I feel like they could have blocked you or you guys blocked each other because you were not seeing eye to eye as the high priestess and the hierophant. Right? This hierophant is about rules and traditions and going to someone else. You go within. They fought that the hierophant, you follow the hierophant's rules. But the high priestess is all about intuition, into me seeing, right? You have, you go within. You don't follow rules. You don't beat to anyone else's drum. And I feel like that caused some sort of rift with you and these people. But I'm seeing here something, some sort of information. Is going to change where I feel like you're going to be more open and less resistant to getting on the same page and having a conversation initially you're going to be like no but I, I feel like something is going to get said that's going to open you up to um, doing so and with that judgment card I did see like the health sign so maybe you find out about this person's health is what's going to allow you to open up and finding out about whatever this grieving situation with this relationship is what's going to open you up yeah see them being in pain them being in pain i feel like yeah it's going to help you take some sort of risk because look at here you are special and it's like you you're not like being a jerk about this you know you're not wanting to see these people hurt so i feel like you are going to take a risk to at the very least hear what they have to say and then decide from there all right that is going to conclude our reading, guys. Best of luck to you. Bye.